Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode, hopefully one of many, of Farming Simulator 19 Let's Play uh, on this map, Green River. I tried to do a video the other day and I'm playing on Xbox One and Xbox One recently got rid of their Mixer streaming service which I did a couple of, albeit rubbish, videos last year. Um, so I thought I'd give it another go this year, only to find, obviously, that the the Mixer streaming service had been taken from down from Xbox One. I don't know if they've discontinued it or, or something. So I have decided to try and stream to Twitch to then pull my videos down, do any editing for time lapses, etc., and then upload to YouTube and hopefully get some likes so yeah so like I said I'm on this this river this uh, this map sorry uh, Green River uh, I think it's been taken through it's a mod map that's been taken through from Farming Simulator 17 uh, I never played Farming Simulator 17 or 15. The first, the first game I've played is this 19 version. So I played a little bit last year, got into it, and then I'd, you know, obviously you do all the different games and stuff, and I've recently got back into it. So I've been following some YouTubers and looking at various different maps, and I just really like the look of this map. So I have purchased, I'm on Farming Manager, and I've purchased these two parcels of land. So I've got fields 21 and 22. And 21 comes with a nice area of uh, of land with like some sheds and stuff already built in. It's got the the sheep pen and the chicken coop. And it's got the, the pig pen rel relatively close by that you will have to pay, pay for separately. Uh, which I will do in the future. Um, there's also this... Bit of farmland here which i think is just off i don't know if it's included and just it's not included with field 26 but it's just off field 26 and that's got the cow pasture and like the um your farmhouse and sleep trigger and stuff on as well so we'll purchase that in the future as well um one thing i will say is that some of the farms on this farms fields on this map are quite expensive so you know, half a million, half a million, nearly half a million. Small map, small map, small field. 192 grand, so that's, I think that's about the cheapest. So they are quite expensive fields, um, but it didn't put me off, you know. I thought, well, we'll um, it's just something to aim for and gives you a reason to have that long-term investment into the, into the map and into the gameplay. So hopefully I'll put a good uh, little series together. Um, I like this map because it's got like some nice forest areas, rivers, bridges, you know, it's just a well, it's just a nice map overall and it's quite flat. Um, and another benefit of, of, of having these nice squared off fields is because I'm playing on single player, I will, I rely on the helpers quite a lot um, for when I'm, you know, driving to the sale points for dropping off and selling my crops I can let the the helper just carry on harvesting a field that I'm that I'm working on so it's nice that they're squared off because the helper tends to do less mistakes okay so if I we're currently right next to where I've kind of set up shop um, I've spent my time so far behind the scenes ready for this um, series of videos repaying off the 250 grand loan that you uh, kind of get lumped with at the beginning of the game so I've paid all that off and I've earned a bit of a bit of cash um, basically just doing contract work uh, fertilizing sowing harvesting contract work so that's how I've earned the cash so far. 
um, thought it's probably best to kind of get the loan out of the way, pay the loan off before starting any of the videos. I've kind of semi set up shop already. I've got some bits of equipment to start with already. Um, and I've got some crops ready on, on field 21 and 22. They've both come into, into the first harvestable, harvestable cycle. So I've got a soybean on field 22 and I've got oats on field 21 that are ready, ready for harvest. So that's what this first video is really good just going to be doing we're just going to fit we're just going to harvest these two fields um i'll get in my tractor got a massive ferguson we'll run through the equipment that i bought shall we so i've got a medium tractor um a small to medium size harvester just to start off with uh, we obviously build our way up into bigger equipment sizes and things i've got quite a large trailer um i thought that would be a good investment to make less trips to the sale point just off the get-go um 52,000 litre capacity so that's pretty good i've got a small smaller trailer that i'm really gonna intend to use as carting around the animal feed for the different pens um might find other uses for it as well header to go with the harvester nine meter width got a mod which is a six meter subsoiler mod um I just like that it's really good i've seen a couple of youtubers use it and yep does the job like that i've got um you're right you want to help okay got a Cavernland cultivator cedar um, if that's part of the downloadable content Cavernland and Vicon pack 12 meter width I've got a lime spreader you can use it for solid fertilizer as well but I'm tending to just use it for lime because I also purchased this which is the Exacta TLX Geo Spread Cavernland part of the part of the downloadable pack as well. The good thing about this is it says a 24 meter working width, but you can actually increase that in increments up to 45 meters max. So when you are doing the contract work and what have you, it just absolutely rips through the time it takes to to do those. You complete it in next to no time, so that's really good. Got a forage wagon for picking up my loose straw from the crops and, and stuff that I can then store and uh, keep for future use or sell to make a bit of extra cash lovely chainsaw front loader various additions for the front loader and a weight and just some extra things and then these silos and sheds and stuff that um, they come already with with this map on on the two farming locations I kind of uh, your farmhouse base locations that I ran through a moment ago. So, if I just, if we have a little shifty, uh, you can see that I've cut down a couple of trees already. My plan is to cut down um, a couple more around the area that I've brought, purely because like now I can't see where I'm going. And you have to go into the first person driver view which isn't a problem but um i just want to clear that those trees out of the way um we can also earn a bit of money from that as well but this is the farmstead area where i've first set up like i say it's got some nice big open sheds for you to organize your equipment Here's some of my equipment that we've bought. And got the chicken coop. With no chickens in yet. But that's for the future. And I've got a sheep pen over here. Again, with no sheeps in. 
cheapy sheeps. Um, but again, for the future, another shed for storage. Um, so yeah, that's that's where we are at the moment. So. plan for this video then, to round it off, is we're going to harvest those two fields, fields 21 and 22, and I'm going to keep the oats and I'm going to keep the wheat, I'm not going to sell it on, purely because I am going to get some chickens, so I'll need the wheat for the chicken feed. And I'm also, this patch of land right in front of me here, uh, that's just grassland, I'm going to get a horse paddock, which does fit in here. Um, I have tested this. It says it collides with an object at the minute, but that's purely because I've got some of my equipment in the way. It does fit. It does go green. Um, so I'm going to get a horse paddock here, which fits in quite nicely with... The sheep and the chickens close by and the pigs just over the other side of those trees um, so I'm going to keep the oats that we harvest today as well to save up for feed for the horses so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to start harvesting this field 21 and then I'm going to harvest field 22 and during that time, I'm also going to do a bit of forestry. I'm going to do a bit of logging. I'm going to cut down some of these trees. And I'm going to do that whilst the helper is harvesting the crop. So... I'm going to hold it off there and the wife's just come home from doing the weekly shop so it's going to be a bit of a, a pause for the live, live stream we're back in a little while but um, with the video that I upload to YouTube you, it'll hopefully be seamless and it'll just we'll just jump right into the into the time lapse for that I'll set this up set this going save it turn turn it off to help put the shopping or groceries away depending on where you are in the world and then we'll uh, see you in a little bit time lapse be good <laughs>
Right, let's try the beefy one. How about that little one? I'll get to the other. You shall not defeat me. Yes! Get back. Right, I can make that work. Slow and steady. Got a good cantilever here on me. It's a good job I've got a good weight on. Right. Beautiful! I'm going to have this as a time lapse and it's going to be some ridiculous Benny Hill. Scoop de la fruit. Right. No. Oh. Gonna do a cheeky teleport. Don't you want me back? Excellent driving. How is that even going in? Run out the side. No! Well, I met you. Well, right, oh, for heaven's sake. Get the helper on again. What's his initial? A. Alessandro. Alessandro is working hard. Yeah. I shall not be beaten. It's like one of them arcade games that you get at like, um, I don't know, the seaside or arcade centres in like the Lake District or, you know, here is the kind of attraction places. With the claw that comes down and like picks it up and you're like, yes, yes, and then it gets to 
point where it's going to like drop it down and it's like it drops it out back into the main pit thing and you're like ah oh, fuck and you waste like 20 quid and it takes years off your life through the stress and your little sister's going Mom, I want the Pikachu and it's like well you've got 20 quid to spend and I thought oh I'm going to get this in now do not care what you say. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I rushed it. I rushed it. Get it back out. Oh, I have chuffed this up and I... I know what I'm doing really. But you're sitting there going, what on earth? Or you're having a real good laugh at my expense, in which case, fair play. Woohoo! Good oh Well, if I put the straps on that, I bet that I bet that would actually do it. You know. Come on, let's try it for a laugh. <laughs> it's done it. <laughs> yep, that, that's fine. Bang up job that. Do -do 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 -do. Perfect. What on earth is happening? Oh! What is that? There's nothing there! Is it because his log's sticking out? It thinks there's something there. That is weird.
Look at that mess in the back of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is going on? Shut up. The ghost. No. <laughs> what is it going on? It must have still some kind of link to it. Oh, you're kidding. Oh my. Oh. Right, stuff that. I think we should just go and sell this wood. And then uh, come back and try and put stuff fresh in again, because something is going on here. Some, some ghost of Christmas past is going, <laughs> coming and. Okay, so welcome back. Um, as you can see, I've had a bit of fun not getting logs into my uh, into my trailer here. Um, there was a bit of a ghost thing going on where I was lifting up one log and another log was rising in the air and I couldn't get my tractor past stuff. So I don't really know what happened there. So I thought, well, it's best to just sell everything and go back and see um, if I can put the rest of the logs in. So I've brought this first set of logs over, so we'll just see how much we get for that. 15 grand, I was, wasn't expecting that. That's good. Expecting about 10. Because we did have, have some good uh, lengths in there and, oh dear, what's going on now? Oh, it's because I've got a dolly on. Oh, I hate them. Okay, uh, that's fine. We'll sort it. If in doubt, just brute force. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. That's how you do it. <laughs> okay. So we'll head back over. Um, I won't put any more logs straight away. Those leftover logs, I won't put those back in just yet. Let's go around the fields and have a little uh, scenic route back. I think you can get about this way if I don't... Yeah, we don't go around the pond. Okay, so um, the two fields have also been harvested by helper Alessandro. And I've already deposited the oats into the silo, of which... Oh, the harvester's there, actually. Of which we got... I'll just stop there a moment. Twelve thousand five hundred ish litres of oats, which is all right for that tiny little field twenty one. That's not bad. Um, it was fertilised twice, uh, so we should have got a good yield off that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. I'm only growing the wheat. 
um, and the oats for chicken feed and horse feed anyway. So that's fine for now because I don't actually have any chickens or horses. So we're just doing a bit of prep work ready for when we do. Um, so soybeans, I currently have none in storage. So we shall find out. I did do soybean, didn't I? Yep, yeah, soybean. I'll just get this last little bit that the helper helper Alessandro had missed. And then we'll go and deposit that back in to the trailer and see how many litres we've got. While I'm doing that, the best price at the moment is at Coroncel BV. Apologies if somebody's watching and they know that I have totally mispronounced that cell point. Conan cell. About right. Um, yeah, so 1500 quid per thousand litres. I've got a list actually. What, I, what I've done in the past is I have made a table. So if I get my had I've made a table of all the all the crops and the best price at any given time and then if I've looked back on the the sale prices and you know there's a better price on that at, you know a, a day after I've played or whatever then I'll just scribble out the existing price and put, put the better price on so the best price I've seen for soybean at the moment is 1693 and what did I say it was on 15 Five nine. I guess that's not far away. Yeah, we'll just go and sell them. We'll go to the Corin cell. Just put my harvester here for the moment. Do the magic teleport thing that some people hate and some people don't mind, but it's an aspect of the game, so I'll use it. just pull up next to this if we drop this trailer off we pick this trailer up We've got 32,000 soybean so 32,000 that is about 32,000 48 I reckon we'll get about 49 grand for this which is wonderful. <laughs> Overtake this cement wagon. Don't even know where I'm going. Current cell. We'll nip down between these two fields. Apologies to the owner of that field. Cracked across it. <laughs> Forty-nine thousand three hundred and seventy-four is my guess. What's yours? Forty-nine thousand, and I promise I haven't got a calculator out and just done a thing. Of it. That's an educated guess. Four nine three seven four. Oh, this is Corin cell, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Ooh, I went far off. Sorry, that was a bit over the top uh, reaction. <laughs> 50 grand for my nice little field of soybean. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And I've got seeds already. Um, and I don't think it needs liming yet. 
Oh, this did. Doesn't need plowing or liming, but 21 needs lime. That's okay. I think I've got a bit, a bit of lime left over. It's only a little field. Um, so I can do that next time. So I'm going to head back over to my farm now. Um, so to summarise today, we have harvested field 21. We've harvested field 22. We've got about 50 grand for the soybean on 22. And I've put the wheat that we got off 21 straight into the silo. Um, so that it wasn't wheat, it was oats. I put the oats straight into the silo because I'm prepping prepping for some horses. So I want to be able to feed them and stuff straight away. Um, in the meantime, before... Is this where I live? It is. Um, so, yeah. Before my next video, what I might do is just, because I've cut some trees down, I might just finish chopping them up and taking them over for sale to the sawmill um, and also see if that ghost tree still happens. Um, I've got this tree down, I've chopped down, that's fell into my compound area that I need to sort out. <laughs> I've got these ghost trees that I need to put up into the timber trailer thing and send over to the sawmill and then I've got these two trees that I've chopped down and have fell into the compound and oh have they fell into the sheep paddock how am I going to get in there does this open, does this open? that won't fit in there will it Oh, how am I going to get that out of them out? We'll think of something. Never fear. Bailey J is here. So, yeah. That's episode one on Green River. Lovely little map. I hope to see you again. I've been Bailey J. Have a nice day. See you later. Thanks for watching.